I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, I welcome to my channel. Kindly like and subscribe. Uh, so here is tutorial. I am gonna explain how you can extract data from uh, email. Like if your data is coming in specific format in email, and you want to extract it and put it into the Excel file. Here I am gonna explain how you can do it. So for example, let's say you uh, create new flow with trigger when email arrives. Okay, uh, when email arrives, like whenever email arrives, trigger this flow. Uh, let me switch to the classic uh, designer. So let me add subject. Okay, so let's say your email is like name. Uh, then let's say address and then phone number. Okay, let's say your email is like this and you want extract name, address, and phone number. So let me add this. Okay, I sent email to myself to check uh, how it appear here. Uh, let me refresh it. As you can see here, email arrived and a flow got triggered. And if I go into compose, I will see this data here. As this is an HTML form, so first step, our first step will be to convert this HTML to plain text by using this action. So I'm gonna provide body to it and it will convert this uh, HTML from email to plain text. Like it will appear like this. Now let's say we want to extract name from it. I am gonna use compose, you can use uh, variable as well, it's up to you. Let's say I want name here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is basically, I am gonna use split. Split function is to split data into two parts based on specific uh, word. Let's say for example, I'm saying split this body based on name, okay? So I am gonna get two parts, one part before the name and second part after the name. Let me test it based on the previous run and you will see how it appear here. Okay, if I click here, I have two parts. This is the first part and this is the second part. Now I need second part. So I'm gonna use last, last function, which uh, give us the last part of uh, this split. Now I will have the second part of the split, which is name, but still now I have all the data with name, uh, with name as well. Like I will have data starting from here, to here but I only want this name 
So what I'm going to do is basically I am going to use another split. Okay. And then I will split based on in line. Like as you can see here, I press the enter key or, or return key on the Mac and it added line here. So if I run this, now I will have two parts, one with the name and one with the, all the data after the name. Let me show you after running it. As you can see here, I have name and then part after name, but I want only the name part. So I am going to again use the function first, which will return the first value from here. And then with the first, I am going to use trim. Trim basically remove any extra spaces before or after text. So if I run it, now I only should get the test name like uh, this. I should only get a uh, test name in this compose. As you can see here, we only have the test name. So we uh, now we created this uh, expression. We just need to copy this and paste it here. Uh, like this is only uh, possible in the old designer. I don't know if it's uh, added to the new designer or not. So you need to click here, copy to clipboard, then go to clipboard and click on this. Okay. Uh, we want address. So and we want phone number as well. So I am going to add two of these, rename it to address. And then I also need to update the formula as well to trim based on address value. Like instead of name, I just put address here and it should work correctly. Now for the phone number, I need to do the same update the action name uh, so I understand uh, so I know what is happening here and also update the formula as well like instead of name I will put phone number okay let me recheck it sometime it did not get uh, updated now if I test this flow now I should have name in here address in here and phone number in here this can be used for any amount of data like let's say you have uh, more than address like say you have name first name last name uh, name address like as long as these parts remain same like first part then you can easily extract data from here so if i click address it shows test address if i click name it shows test name and if i click phone number it shows phone number okay uh, you can uh, use this uh, method for any email. I tested it for the simple one, but you can use it for the other one. And now you have all these values and you can uh, use uh, add row action. Like let's say you want to add this into the Excel file or you can use any other method. Like you can use it anywhere you want. Like now you have name, address, phone number. So you can easily use it anywhere you want. Thank you. In case you have any question or you don't understand any part, kindly do let me know.